Please rise. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, Citrus Hill Hawks, and happy Friday. It's been a great week. We had back to school night, uh, college fair, a lot of great things going on. So as you can see behind us, we have the uh, spinning wheel that we actually select the names for the back to school night. Don't worry, I didn't get injured, even though the machine was a little bit sketchy there. But we did pick <laughs> some names. So I'm actually going to share those names. We are going to be giving away. These are the uh, Samsung Level Active Wireless Fitness Earbuds. So we have six of these. And these are the students who are here back to school night and have their slips signed by each teacher. So the first student we have is Walter D'Angelo, Mr. Walter D'Angelo. Second person is Jacob Salpart. Is um, that right? Salyards. Salyards. Oh, that's a Y. Sorry, it looked like a P to me. Okay, <laughs> Jacob Salyards. Jacob Salyards. Next is Nadine Alamio. So Nadine Alamio. Cesar Salgado. Cesar Salgado. Janelle Monhe. Janelle Monhe and Savannah Escobar. So if you heard your name, you're going to go during lunchtime to the bookkeeper's office. You'll see Miss Avilus. She will have these with your uh, slip here for your wireless earbuds. So good job as far as coming here back to school night. Hey, let's have a great Friday. Let's finish the week strong. Remember, the focus is for you guys to come and learn, but we also wanna make sure you guys enjoy your time here. So with all the events going on, we have our first home football game. Mm -hmm. By the way, congratulations to our JV football who won yesterday. So good job to our JV football. Varsity plays tonight here on our new field. All right, first our, home game. Yeah, and that field is amazing. They, it's, it's awesome. So come check out the varsity football. We're going to have some food and music after school. So if you want to hang out and not have to go home and come back, you'll be able to do that today after school. Please continue to help out with your trash. We want this campus to look amazing, so we need everyone to chip in to make sure they pick up their trash. Get to class on time. Let's have a great Friday. Enjoy your weekend. And always make sure that when we talk about being the change, you're actually doing something that's helping others. So let's make it a great Friday. Ms. Colvin. Good morning and happy Friday. I just wanted to share a few reminders. We do have our first Saturday school this weekend, so um, we do want you to show up and make up a full day absence and remember that if you have more than three absences we consider that excessive and then you'll be put on that no activities list. So if you have an absence, go ahead and show up. We do it from 8 a.m. to noon and we do provide lunch. Um, and that, with that being said, we also have campus beautification this weekend. You can show up at the same time um, and we do four hours of community service. Uh, you can sign up for that in the College and Career Center with Ms. King. And lastly, a lot of you are doing a really good job signing up for SOAR sessions. There are some students who do not have an email yet. So if you are newer to our school and you don't have an email address, please come see myself or Ms. Murillo in the guidance office so we can make sure that you are hooked up with an email address. Um, I think that's it for today. So have a good Friday. Oh, I do actually have one more thing. Are we still on? Okay, sorry. Um, going back to SOAR, great job yesterday, students getting to class. Uh, we're going to actually put some signs up hopefully next week to show what classes are open and closed. That way you know. Remember, if you're on the wait list, you need to sign up for a different class. Don't just think, oh, the class will open up. It won't. It, it means it's full. So you need to sign up for a different class for your SOAR time. Ms. So, Ms. Ravenna did want to tell them the two that closed does not mean that it's full. A session will say full if it already has uh, the max capacity of students. If it says closed, what that means is that not anybody can go to it. It's only certain students. And teachers will tell you to sign up for closed sessions that they want you to be at. So there's a difference between closed and full. And then also, if you check on two places to be at once, the way you take one off is just re-click that check mark and it will disappear. Right. And then the last thing is we have our Not Scary Farm coming up. For any event, students, you got to make sure that you get your slip signed by us. Mm -hmm. uh, the big thing is you got to make sure grades, attendance, but also any past debt. So if you still owe the bookkeeper money, you got to make sure that e either you pay it off 
or you come see us to work on how you're going to pay it off. Because I know some seniors have some debt that you've built up. We want to make sure it gets paid off because we don't want you stuck at senior checkout with this huge bill to pay before you can even get your stuff for a graduation. So please get it paid off. If it's too much and you want to do it with payments, we'll set that up for you. But you're not going to be able to go to any events unless you get that paid. So it's grades, behavior, um, attendance, but also making sure you have no debt. Okay. All right. So have a great Friday yep. and uh, we'll see you around campus. Pick up your trash and have a great day. Good morning, Citrus Hill Hawks. So next week is a very important week. It's Yellow Ribbon Week. Yellow Ribbon is to prevent suicide awareness. So next week you will have the opportunity to participate in activities with Miss Salutis in the quad. Those activities will be every week next week. And you can also participate with Miss Salutis during SOAR time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So for next week, we need you to dress in the following attire. On Mondays, please wear purple. Purple is t for tolerance. On Tuesdays, dress to success. That means dress in your nice work attire club. On Wednesday, September 13th, please wear yellow for suicide awareness. On Thursday, September 14th, please wear blue for bully prevention. On Friday, September 15th, please wear green for ch children depression. And that's it for now. Please join us next week. Good morning, Citrus Hill Hawks. There will be a varsity football game versus El Camino at 7.